Alrighty, well welcome back to Mandy Energy, none other than me, Mandy. And today we will be discussing American themes in Eurobeat. American Eurobeat songs. That's kind of a dishonest title, but we're gonna run with it because I've already ran with it for two videos and omitted a video last year. Will the songs actually be about America? Will they not be? Eh, I guess we'll find out. If you're new here, thanks for joining me in my little Super Euro adventure. I love Eurobeat. You should love Eurobeat if you don't already love Eurobeat. Is that a threat? A promise? A guarantee? Doesn't matter. Right into some Super Euro fun USA themed songs. So the first song I wish to talk to you about today is incredibly American. And what is that, Mandy? Well, thanks for asking, Mandy. It is Americana by Dr. Boogie. What does this song have to do about the United States? Not a clue. I guess it's an American woman. Americana. Dancing. That's it. That's the America. And you know what? I'm here for it. This is a great high energy song from the Flea or Flay. I'm honestly not 100% positive how I'm supposed to be pronouncing it. I've always called it Flea. This song is sung by none other than Gino Curia and is a really nice high energy song from the early 90s. He sang quite a few songs back in the old and early days of Eurobeat, going from Talo Disco to high energy into Eurobeat. And Gino had a lot of contributions that really amounted to a lot in the history of the genre. Americana is really sexy. It's a very sexy song. I don't know if you think of sexy when you think of the United States. I'm... Do you? Tell me, do you think of sexy when you think of the United States? Take a moment here and I want you to comment that below. This is a weird topic for this video. And it doesn't get very gosh darn much attention. It's pretty well buried down in there. So I do recommend you take a listen to it and you enjoy it and you feel so proud to be American or you feel proud to support the United States or you just feel proud of Americana. I don't actually remember how many CDs or whatnot it appeared on. I'm very curious. Oh, my eyeliner is bleeding. That's lovely, doctor. Boogie Americana. Well, I'm proud to tell you it appeared on something called Snakes Beat 1, which was a cassette compilation in Poland in 1992. Very interesting. I always, oh, it had a lot of songs, so I'm looking at it. Yeah, that's interesting. There's also a CD. Huh. Why did I click on the cassette first? Very interesting, actually. You can buy Americana through one of the digital distribution download services. You can purchase it and support this wonderful song because you probably won't be able to get Snake's Beat Volume 1 on cassette or CD. I'm sorry, guys. I want it now, though. I found something I want that I don't have words for. <laughs> song number two is Boogaboo. I'll be your King Kong. What a classic. Just for the record, I'll Be Your King Kong appeared on Eurobeat Flash Volume 22, which is the last volume of Eurobeat Flash. And really, it's an underrated classic. I'm looking up the lyrics right now, but this song is so obnoxiously catchy, I don't have words to describe to you how much you should listen to it. California Girl Animal Delight, Americana on a walk in the night. California way, made in USA. To find a guy, I, I, I never come back. It's the most American thing I've ever heard. This is sung by Mad Cow slash Franz Tornado and is a beautiful underrated gem. Honestly, the lyrics are about absolutely nothing, but it's okay. It's just a fun song. It's a fun romp in the superhero jungle with King Kong. Well, that's more Tarzan, but whatever. I'm King Kong. I should make a King Kong themed video. Maybe I should do that around Halloween or just in general. Now I want to introduce you to, I think my favorite lyrics of this song. I really, every time I listen to this song, this is without a doubt my favorite part. Big world coming to see a funny movie. 
Monkey is in danger, baby, give me back my money. This line is so deeply symbolic about the nature of man and the situation of mankind, how we are chained to currency and capitalism and we need the newest technology. We are just, like, we're going to see a funny movie, but there's an animal that's in danger. And all we're thinking of giving me back my money, it's just, ah. Oh. Somebody needs to write a thesis on the depth of I'll Be Your King Kong. This is a very 90s high energy attack song and I would have it no other way. It is truly underrated. Highly recommend you go listen to it. It is incredibly American. And as we celebrate Independence Day, remember, I'll be your King Kong. Third song, final song of the video is none other than a song people have actually asked me quite a bit in DMs about why I've not made an American themed video about this song. And so here I am today doing it. I was already planning on doing it after the song came out, but I didn't do it in 2021. God Bless You Americans by Dave Rogers. This song is about Americans. There's nothing facetious or sarcastic about me discussing God Bless You Americans. This song is about Americans. God Bless You Americans would have essentially been the flagship song for Dave Rogers Music's May, June 2020 crowdfunding campaign. The crowdfunding campaign unfortunately did not succeed, but upon completion and ending, he did send this song, God Bless You Americans, to everybody that did donate to the campaign. I did donate to the campaign and I was really happy when I got to hear this song before it was properly released publicly. I for one genuinely really do love God Bless You Americans. I think the topic is very oddly precise, especially in Eurobeat, but the song itself, the production, the melody, the flow of it, the effects used, there's this dubstep breakdown later in the song in the extended portion. And even the length of it, it is absurdly long. That's what she said. And that's great, I love it. I love how, I love how absurdly long it is. That's what she said! I think God Bless You Americans is one of the better, more recent Eurobeat songs. It came out in summer 2020, as I already said, but I think it is really an undervalued shining star as far as sound goes and as far as production style goes for Dave Rogers' music. This is a song worth talking about. I think this song was made with a lot of passion and a lot of excitement. And I think the product the fans got is really quite stellar. If you've not heard God Bless You Americans, I hope you'll go listen to it. And if you have heard it, I hope you love it as much as I do. All right, well, I think we talked about all the American stuff we can in Eurobeat today. And in another year, I will hopefully not forget or omit doing a video about USA themed Eurobeat. So we'll be back for another three songs to discuss the American nationalism in the beat of the Europeans from Italia that plays soccer and eats spaghetti and all that, <laughs> drink wine. <laughs> If you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on all types of social media because you know you just can't get enough of me and you never know when I'm actually going to get a video on YouTube or not have a video on YouTube. It's a mystery. Join the Discord so you can talk about the beat of the Europeans along with many cool people and hear new songs you've not heard of before and see about the newest releases coming out. Keep it classy guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Always remember that Eurobeat is fun. Bye bye. I'm pretty sure.